Hey guys, it's Roscoe, and on the Space Coach Tech, going to have a first look at this Star Wars Age of Resistance Heroes. And you see Finn, Poe, Ray, and Rose in there, and they're the ones who get their own stories in here. Plus, there's a couple of other little one shots that's got Mars and all that sort of thing in it. And there you just see them on the back. So, I've had one read of this, and this it's alright, I quite liked it. First up, well, there's a nice one of Ray. But first up is Finn, and it's all about his time on the First Order on Starkiller Base. When he wasn't always in a Stormtrooper uniform, he was sometimes was like this. So basically him and the Met are cleaning up when they see Kylo Ren. And Kylo Ren comes and sees him. And so he stands for attention with his mop and, of course, drip on him. So Kylo Ren leaves without comment. Phasma, of course, is not impressed. That is not a blaster. Report to my division at once. So he's, oh, report to sanitation. So he's all suited up and then they've got to go and deal with this infestation. Which turns out they're not very good at dealing with. He accidentally sets his captain on fire when they're dealing with this infestation. And his captain is none too happy about it. As you can see. Oops. What is interesting in this is you do see several times stormtroopers with their helmets removed. And there's one shot. Let me just go back because I think we might have already passed it. Uh, where is it? No. Uh, well, I thought we might have gone past it already. But maybe not. Well, it's two female stormtroopers. So he finds out, of course, that it's a sentient species um, who's living uh, on this planet. And that they're just trying to wipe out. So anyway, for his insubordination. <laughs> there, there it is. The two female stormtroopers there. So for his insubordination, he's getting assigned to the garbage scow that takes whatever detritus they've removed from the planet onto this other one. And there is the pilot lady. And um, there they are landing. And the cargo that he has actually brought is not the... But he has rescued that species. And others have... I think she has done it herself. Um, because there are others of that species on this garbage planet. Hmm. And there they are on there. And there they are talking. What does it say? Um, uh... <laughs> He's not great at following the rules. And she says, honestly, I think a little rebellion's good for you. And that's where it ends. The next one is just Poe on a mission where someone has stolen something from the commanding officer, the head of a droid. And there you see them scrambling to intercept a ship. But they go into, or Poe's the only one who follows into this gas cloud. This is a ship that they're chasing. And it's like in Solo Star Wars Story when they're going through the vortex and you know, all the carbon birds and meteors and exogoths. <laughs> but she doesn't want, uh, the person doesn't want him to die, particularly just for falling. So she, he, they are giving orders that follow us, do exactly what we do, you'll be fine, we'll get out of here. And there they are. There's mines they've got to get past. And more of the exogorth. It looks like they just went right through its teeth there. Hmm. And anyway, they make it out. And the other ship fires on them and disables them. But don't worry, you'll be fine. Your colleagues will come and get you. We can't let you capture us. Because it's Vice Admiral Holdo. Although he doesn't know that. With the head of the droid. Which has recorded every conversation that the particular um, Republic Admiral has had in the last five years. But they're doing nothing about the rise of the First Order. Then the next one is just Rose's backstory with her sister. There is Hayes Minor and there are their pendants. So they're practising their um, speeder skills or their flying skills. But they're not very good. <laughs> and they go crashing. But luckily they were just in a simulator <laughs> on their home world. So then of course the First Order turns up. And as we've seen in other material about Rose, they just strip man the planet, build weapons and test them on the population. 
but Rose manages to rig up a few things and a bunch of their ships explode. But it's only days later when more turn up and continue on with the devastation. <clears throat> That's a nice one of Exxon and all. one of the Star Fortresses. So yes, there they are, joining the resistance. But the text to just take a ship and leave. That's a nice one of the Star Fortress there. But Leia convinces them. Well, she said, no, you can take a ship and you can go and you can have your two seconds of revenge against the First Order and then you'll be dead and it'll be worthless. Or you can stay and fight and make it mean something. I've had to deal with loss of planets. I know exactly what you're going through. All that sort of thing. But Paige, she believes Rose is destined for great things. And then we just have Ray, quick backlash, being abandoned to now. Uh, this is, I think, above Crate. Uh, Chewie and Leia uh, hugging and stuff, which you didn't see in the film. And then Ray and um, Leia, just before she goes off to meet Luke Skywalker. And he tells her, or she tells Leia, what happened on Starkill. So you see Han on the bridge, reaching out, stabby stab, and he's all alone. But she's able to handle that, I suppose. And this is basically the Falcons leaving, there's the crowd. And there they are on the Falcon. But they have some problems after they drop out of hyperspace and go to this planet called the Necropolis. Oh, there's a little bit of a fire on board. Choose fur catches on fire. And he gets sprayed with foam. <laughs> yes. So anyway, garbage planet. I have to go scavenging for stuff. But of course, they're not alone. There's a giant beast. Oh, look. Ruined Star Destroyer in the background. And there's other like ships in there as well, I assume. Such as this one. A fire spray. I doubt it's the fire spray, but you never know. And there are some um, Jaws and Chibiros, they're slaves. This is the person who's in charge of the junkyard. And they've been controlling it all, uh, arranging for the pulse in hyperspace to bring ships out, making them go to the planet, and then basically killing the crews and taking the ship and stripping it for all it's worth. Met the match this time, though, because she uses her Jedi mind trick on them saying you will submit to arrest and allow yourself to be put on trial and you'll pay for your crimes and it repeats it back to them <laughs> and then she's back on her journey and we pick it up Acto and there she is handing over the lightsaber <laughs> and that's about it for the main character for the other characters um, but yeah it's not bad at all I mean it's not essential to pick this one up but I enjoyed it, so it's good to see a bit more detail on the new characters. I'm sure we'll find out a lot more in the film and after the film once that is done and dusted. But for now, that is just Age of Resistance Heroes. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for a common topic you'd like to see discussed. Or like the videos.